Let's start this conversation with uh, the man I call Carlos, who is an illegal miner who joins us right in the studio here. Hello, Carlos. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Can you first tell us why you're involved in illegal mining? Thank you. I first joined illegal mining because of poverty. I was working with one of the company called Seti Company in Kumasi, Ahinsan. And one day, one of my friends called me and said that, hey, Jack, there is a galamsey going on at Amansia West and a town called Yakurum, so let's go there. That was 2011. So we just went there. When I went there, the first week, I got only three in the cities. So when we go on break, I return back to Kumasi and then I inform him that the work is very too hard. I can't do it. And he said, oh, there is many in, more than the one we are doing in Kumasi. I said, okay, then I'll go. So I went there 2011, 2012, 2013. Then I moved from that place to uh, Tuntukrum in the same district. From Tuntukrum, I went to Watreso, where the river Oda is. Right from there, I moved to um, Amenfi, Amenfi Central, that is Ejakama. So I went there to, and there is a chief called Nanakasa. That time he was the chief that time. And now I learned that he has passed away. So we, I do a lot of Galamsey activity. But what I realized is that the most land we are destroying, the chiefs are part of it, and then the politicians. And sometimes to the prominent people in the society, they are part of it. So you say chiefs and politicians. And Did politicians. you work for any of these uh, agencies that were directly owned by uh, politicians or chiefs, as you claim? I went to one politician, now he is standing for MP in the name of MPP at Kunsu Mankranso. Mm. I started working with him. When? That was 2016. 2016, I started working with him. And he started from Assemblyman, and from Assemblyman now to the MP. And you're claiming that all the other areas that you've moved to, either a chief or chiefs or politicians yes, are involved in uh, it? Yes, and Isansi. And uh, MPP chairman, I was working with one of the company called Seti Company in Kumasi, Ahinsan. And one day, one of my friends called me and said that, hey, Jack, there is a galamsey going on at Amansia West and a town called Yakurum, so let's go there. That was 2011. So we just went there. When I went there, the first week, I got only three hundred cities. So when we go on break, I return back to Kumasi and then I inform him that the work is very too hard. I can't do it. And he said, oh, there is many in, more than the one we are doing in Kumasi. I said, okay, then I'll go. So I went there 2011, 2012, 2013. Then I'll move from that place to uh, Tuntukrum in the same district. From Tuntukrum, I went to Watreso, where the river Oda is. Right from there, I moved to um, Amenfi, Amenfi Central, that is Ejakama. So I went there to, and there is a chief called Nanakasa. That time he was the chief that time. And now I learned that he has passed away. So we, I do a lot of Galamsey activity. But what I realize is that the most land we are destroying, the chiefs are part of it, and then the politicians. And sometimes to 
the prominent people in the society, they are part of it. So you say chiefs and politicians. And Did politicians. you work for any of these uh, agencies that were directly owned by uh, politicians or chiefs, as you claim? I went to one politician. Now he is standing for MP. So oh. these are the people they are involved in doing Galamse. And I work personally at Forest too. Uh, that is NT Forest. And there is a river there called Yoyo, uh, Ankara, and then the Suhama. The Yoyo is in the forest, and then the Ankara and then the Suhama, they stream straight to the Yoyo. So we have destroyed the Yoyo, uh, the Suhama and then Ankara. So when the uh, Suhama and Ankara go straight to the Yoyo, and the Yoyo to take to the um, uh, this river, uh, tunnel. So sometimes the forestry will follow. When they come and they meet us, they collect something. You are alleging that the forestry commission people. This one, I will not say alleged. Alleged. It's not alleged. It's not alleged. Mm. I'm not alleged. I'm, to, I'm telling you the facts. Okay. Yeah. They collect something. Sometimes they leave their number, and every week we send it to them. How much do you normally send? There are three types we send to you, and then where we will live, we have another one there. So we send 600 cities every week. 600 cities every yes, week? Yes, 600 cities every week. So tell us, what do you normally do as an illegal miner? Because I know there are different roles and responsibilities on site. What do you personally normally do? We, we are just a lay workers, lay my workers. We, um, we are doing the, all the work. Like that for us, we don't use excavators. We use only shovels and picks. That is what we do. So as for if you call it um, manpower, ours we do manpower. But we have those big sponsors. We are using excavator, one leg, chamfine. They are using those things. But for we, we are using manpower. And you work for those who use the chamfans and the other big I have worked with them before. And later on, I decided to work on my own. But I don't have money to buy land. I don't have money to buy pumping machine. I don't have money to buy artists. So at first, we just go to the forest. The forest, we call it no man's land. So when the forestry come, and then you are able to sort them out, then they leave you to work. So every week, you give their parts. So what does a typical day look like? Uh, at first, when I went to Yakro, my week was three cities. And the later on, we moved to Daymark at Kunsu. I collect um, uh, 250. It depends. A day? Yes. Sometimes you get 300 cities, sometimes 150. And it depends. And how long does it take for you to get that amount of money? How much work do you have to do? We don't have a crate of work. Sometimes we can start off from 12 o'clock and then we close 6 o'clock. Sometimes we can start from 8 o'clock. It depends. You can work here, we do it two hours, two hours. Every two hours, then we rest for a while. And then we come back every two hours, we rest for a while. How do you protect yourself? We don't have anything to protect ourselves. Do you get support? Like what? Support, let's say, from either state agencies, aside from the Minerals Commission people you say or claim come to take money from you, police or any other agency that helps protect you? No. We don't have any police to protect us. But the moment you see police on the site, first, either they will come and see you are biased or there is an operation going on. Apart from these two things, you will never see any police officer in sight. Either they are come to see you are biased to collect their share, or they are assigned assignment for uh, uh, maybe to drive away the Galamsi people. But for that, they can't. They can't drive you out? They can't. So this uh, call by the government or people for the government to government stop this? Government cannot count unless he involved the chiefs. 
Tell us why you think so. Because the lands are owned by the chief. If the chief say that me, as for my town, I will not allow Galamsey, no government in power go and do Galamsey over there. Because eh? we believe in traditional cursing and spare on the land. If the chiefs and the elder decided that we will curse uh, spare on the land or we curse the land, anyone who will go and work there and we catch you, maybe you pay this amount of sheep plus money, plus this, plus this, plus this, no one will go there and work. So what you're claiming is that there's no way the government can stop illegal money? There is no way, unless he involves the chiefs. Uh, in our earlier conversation, you told us that uh, you still managed to gather some money to buy a piece of land from a chief. Yeah, that land, uh, there is a problem on it. Last week, the chiefs over there called me to discuss about that, and, but I told him that, as for me, as for the Galamsi, I will not do it again. So the so, chief knew that you were buying the land for illegal mining or Galamsi? Yeah, they know. Even if we buy cocoa land, some of them buy cocoa land. Yes, I have numbers I can give you to you. You can pretend it, and you say that you want to buy a land. You get it. Carlos, uh, you were talking about, you said you told the chiefs that you're no more interested in illegal mining. Yes. So you want to stop this completely. Uh, how, what are you going to do to sustain yourself and your family? Well, at first, when there is no galamsey, our people live. They use farming to live. Now, I came to Kumasi and started construction. I think not too much, but I'm happy than doing Galamsey because uh, the med we are using to do Galamsey is med spoiled is the water. Mm. Mm. But we call it med. med. Mm. And when, even when a little one enter into your stomach, you can run for the whole day. You see? So I sat down one day and I said, ah, we are doing by to ourselves. I can right now bet with my life. If there is no measure to stop Galancy in 10 years' time, if Ghana gets um, 10, uh, 100 bars of cocoa the whole year, I will bet with my life. Mm. They should kill me. Do you have any health complications because of your involvement in illegal mining? Health. 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 Like. Health. Are you well? Are you well? Are you well? Well, as for me, dear, I always uh, take care of myself, but my colleagues, they involve our drugs. Mm. That's after one year or two years, you see the effect on them. Like mm. what? Like a young guy, he will take a drugs uh, because of the hard work. Mm. If we see him, he becomes an old. Sons one, two, cannot hold things right. Mm. You see them shivering. Yes. Mm. Sometimes, you, you see, the life is not good to be there. But you, you're not sick. Everything is okay oh, with everything you. Everything is okay. One thing that makes me sad, that is 2019, I went to Pristia in Suta. We were doing grains. And when I went there, the, Ch the Chinese are destroying the forest. So we two are following them. The forestry came there. In Bias, Bias in Suta. Yeah. yeah. The forestry came there and they arrest us. Mm -hmm. We are six people, mm -hmm. and then the Chinese workers to make it ten, and they release the Chinese workers. So 2019, they send us to Pristia Police Station. At first, they send us to the Forestry Commission office, and they ask us to pay 200 cities, and we say that we don't have. So they later they send it to the police, and then the CID collect 1,500. So first March, 2019, six March, I was, I was in CES. Then I called my brother, and then he paid the money. So when he paid the money, they should release me for me to go. They say that if the, the rest of the people did not get the money, they will not receive me. And I asked them why. And they said that because if they send them to court, the report say that we are six. Why five people came to the court? And they have to answer that. And then I asked the CID that, why the Chinese are doing that and I'm a Ghanaian? Mm. You arrest me and then they leave the Chinese people. And he said that that is Ghana for you. 
That's what he told you. That is what he told me. Carlos, I want to say thank you so much for joining us on Agenda tonight. But I have mm. one thing to say. Mm. Whether illegal or they are giving lances, we are all destroying the water mm -hmm. and then the land. Because those who are doing the last key, when they dig the, uh, the pits, pit, mm. and then if the, the dirty water flow into the, the pit they have mining, one week or more, you have to open the dirty water for it to go so that you can get the clean water. When, when you open the dirty water, the dirty water will go straight to the stream. Mm. And me too, I'm doing a small scale. And me too, I'm destroying this, uh, the water. So two of us are destroying the water. So it takes the chiefs. Me, I don't want to involve the security personnel. Why? Because they take bribe. <laughs> Did they ever take bribe from you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, aside from the yes. Yes. Aside from, from yes. the Senate, they have collected five million from me when they came for my pumping machine. Mm -hmm. Wait, old Ghana CD, old CDs, yeah. five million, yeah. five or you mean yes. five hundred Ghana CDs? Five hundred Ghana CDs. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When they came, we were doing galams and they came and arrested and they correct my pumping machine. And they started from thousand. I said I don't have thousand. And that time I have one sponsor and they, he came and paid five hundred. The community police, that he came with the policeman and then come, came for my pumping machine. Now he is doing, if he want to buy my land, the land I bought, he want to buy it. <laughs> I have his number. That is why I say I can give my, the numbers to you, then you pretend you want to do GLMC. I have the chiefs, I have the prominent people who are doing that. Carlos. So the government is put and end to all the galamsey and then they look at it again how we can do it so I, successfully so that our water bodies that is why i said within 10 years we will not get food to eat we will not get water to drink and we will not get cocoa to export carlos thank you so much for joining us on agenda